Okay. So you spoke of the shift from objective to subjective. So to possibility. So we have this obsession or this focus on the object. And one could say that um, the entire spiritual journey basically begins with shifting from focus or attention or perception on the object to like the very line of perception itself, and then mm -hmm. to the very subject or the perceiver. So nice that that is sort of like the main part you could say of, of the initial part of the spiritual journey is that. Um, mm -hmm. And then when you shift to the subject, um, and you recognize that um, the subject is actually um, the one infinite creator. It's actually God. <laughs> and that's the same thing that's looking out of your eyes and out yeah. of everyone's eyes. And so then you realize that there's like an eternity or an infinity to your beingness and that you can sort of relax your obsession with being the body and relax your obsession with being the thoughts and relax your obsession with objects and focus more on the possibilities, like you said. And nice. this is what I wrote in high level perception, that first book that I wrote that you're checking out and Chapter two is called seed okay. theory. Yeah. And so in seed theory, you have basically a analogy that you're drawing between the tree of possibility from the seed and all of the possibilities that branch. Hey, one sec, actually, Atlas, I don't mean to cut you off, but I think it would be powerful if you shared screen. If you have it pulled up there, you could share screen and you can click on it because I see the illustration that you're talking about in front of me. Or if you make me a co-host, I can share my screen for you. I think showing them. I just love how on point you are because uh, that's going to make it so much better for sure. You, you know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, here we go. Boom. Sweet. So that's chapter four. Go to chapter two. Okay. Oh, you're right. That is chapter four. Okay. See theory right here. Well, it's like a map. Nice. Sweet. So, um, okay. So if if you tune into possibilities above everything and you recognize that everything that's objective is downstream of what is subjective, of what is the focus or the imagination or the will or the creativity of God, of the one infinite creator. So then you feel more and more, okay, so why don't I tune into that seed level, the possibility space, and I make this analogy with a tree, and I see that out of all of my like possible trajectories in life, that I can persistently, constantly focus on and choose my preferred state and my preferred frequency, which is oneness, Shambhala, service coming from there, and also mm. seeing in that North Star position, igniting global awakening, the mission, architecting Shambhalas across the planet, and nothing being higher than that. And so then your all of your focus in imagination is on that. And as God, as the one infinite creator with the stylus painting. And so then guess what happens is within five years, 10 years, 15 years, this entire planet is saturated with spiritual kingdoms. And then guess what happens is somebody 15 years later turns and asks themselves, hey, how did this all happen? How did the subject or the imagination become object of Shambhala's across earth? And this yeah. is how it happened because we focused on the possibility space. We focused on the root, the root or the substratum is the fact that you are God. You are the one infinite creator. You have the fucking stylus in your imagination. And so 
we manifest the external. And so um, focusing on the possibility space is so critical and also focusing simultaneously on the seed level of basic needs being met is what enables people from around the world to be able to have clean drinking water and have food and have shelter and not have diseases and just have energy and abundance so that they themselves can also turn inward and ask themselves the question, who am I, what is I, what is my nature, and also get through any layers of separation or lack or location or these types of things. And then it becomes easier for us to prosper as a planet. So the basic needs, which you could say are the physicality, actually fuel the subjective as well. So they're in a feedback loop with each other, the subjective and the objective. So that's why it's so important to have the simultaneity of both. Yes. Yeah. 